Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Happy Halloween, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing a brand new firmware release by Apple iOS 10.1.1, which didn't even go through beta stages. It was just released to the masses earlier this morning, and it was only really issued for one reason. And in today's video, we're going to be going over everything you need to know related to iOS 10.1.1. And as stated in the title of this video, this is a jailbreak update or a status update video only to tell you guys what's changed, if anything. Also, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up because I am still working hard on getting another iPhone 7 giveaway going for you guys. All right, so let's get straight into this. Of course, starting with the changelog for 10.1.1. As you can see up at the top, it says, quote, this update fixes bugs, including an issue where health data could not be viewed for some users. Now, hopefully 10.1.1 also includes some fixes for some minor bugs that I know I've been encountering on a daily basis, specifically some issues with messages and still notifications with iOS 10.1, though it's obvious that the main concern and the main thing that 10.1.1 addresses is that health data not displaying correctly for some individuals. That's really it. Beyond that, you won't notice any outward facing changes, again, unless Apple decided to correct some very minor bugs that were still present inside of iOS 10.1. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and switch on over to the security changes section for 10.1.1. It was just that little link there inside of the OTA update change log. So when we go ahead and scroll down here, you'll notice that we have 10.1.1 as the latest firmware, and we can go ahead and tap on that. And guess what? There are no security changes for 10.1.1, which is absolutely fantastic news for jailbreakers, because it means that 10.1.1 will not hinder the release of the next jailbreak utility. As you can See, it says iOS 10.1.1 includes the security content of iOS 10.1. And on that topic, guys, remember iOS 10.1 was just released one week ago, guys. Remember October 24th, 2016, last Monday. And as stated in said video, when a firmware is released, that jailbreak developers will inevitably target. It usually takes them about one to two weeks. Now remember, iOS 10.1 was seemingly and is still seemingly the firmware that jailbreak developers being Pangu intended to target. Of course, though, that could change depending on what happens, though seeing as we do not have another beta firmware in testing stages right now, something like iOS 10.2, and the fact that we just got another minor update today that only fixed one small tiny thing, Jailbreaker's plans undoubtedly have not changed. Remember, though, the situation is dynamic, never static, meaning it is always in flux, and anything and everything that Apple does influences jailbreaking one way or another. Thankfully, we got lucky with today's iOS 10.1. 1.1 firmware and it doesn't set things back. And we could expect to see a jailbreak hopefully within the next week unless Pangu deems that iOS 10.1.1 isn't stable enough. But again, considering this firmware was issued only to address that one issue, Apple seems to think it's stable enough. So hopefully Pangu will as well. I'm going to keep you guys updated absolutely every step of the way. And I also highly recommend watching this video here, which will be down below in the description. And it was also in your cards earlier because in said video, I go way into depth on the jailbreak status and what we can expect from Pangu. Definitely check that out if you're at all interested and you have yet to watch it. Otherwise, you can also check out my detailed playlist for iOS 10 jailbreak updates. And of course, just subscribe if you have yet to. That way you will be fully notified and you'll be in the loop anytime I release new videos concerning jailbreaking. And then of course, just follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook for even more updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.